The 1913 Gettysburg Reunion was a Gettysburg battlefield encampment of American Civil War veterans for the Battle of Gettysburg's 50th anniversary. The June 29 to July 4 gathering of 53,407 veterans, approximately 8,750 Confederate, was the largest ever Civil War veteran reunion, and never before in the world's history had so great a number of men so advanced in years been assembled under field conditions. Chief Surgeon. All honorably discharged veterans in the Grand Army of the Republic and the United Confederate Veterans were invited, and veterans from 46 of the 48 states attended CF. Nevada and Wyoming. Despite concerns that there might be unpleasant differences, at least, between the blue and gray. As after England's War of the Roses and the French Revolution, the peaceful reunion was repeatedly marked by events of Union Confederate camaraderie. President Woodrow Wilson's July 4 reunion address summarized the spirit, We have found one another again as brothers and comrades in arms, enemies no longer, generous friends rather, our battles long past, the quarrel forgotten, except that we shall not forget the splendid valor. Topic planning After numerous smaller Gettysburg reunions, including the 1906 Philadelphia Brigade, Pickett's Division reunion during which Brig. General Louis Armistead's captured sword was returned to the South. In April 1908, General Henry S. Wiedekauer of Philadelphia suggested a 1913 50th anniversary reunion to Pennsylvania Governor Edwin Sidney Stewart. On September 8, the Gettysburg National Park Commission met with Gettysburg Borough officials about the event. Stewart conducted a sub committee meeting on October 25, and Stewart addressed the General Assembly in January 1909. On May 13, 1909, the Pennsylvania Assembly created the 50th anniversary of the Battle of Gettysburg Commission, and the Commission's first tentative program of October 13, 1910 included a Peace Jubilee, with noon July 3rd placement of the cornerstone for a Great Peace Memorial. The August 26, 1912, U.S. Congress bill appropriated $150,000 and directed the War Department establish the camp, but the memorial funding was not approved and the Peace Jubilee plans were removed from the schedule. The site for the camp and the eight acres hectares for the Great Tent West of the Kadori House were selected in 1912 and mapped by the Gettysburg National Park Commission. The Park Commission also completed painting of avenue fencing, gun carriages, iron tablets, pyramids, and shells from 1912 through June 30, 1913. On April 13, 1913, the Pennsylvania Commission completed the Pennsylvania State Memorial and also mailed 40,000 veterans invitations. On June 28, President Woodrow Wilson notified the Pennsylvania Commission he would attend the reunion for a very limited period. The 33 contributing states provided a total of $1,033,000 for the reunion, $450,000 from Pennsylvania. The Pennsylvania Commission headquarters at Gettysburg was at 231 Baltimore Street, with the Harrisburg office of the Secretary, later nicknamed the Duke of Gettysburg, in Pennsylvania State Capitol Room 509. Various commemorative tokens and programs were developed for attendees, including three types of Pennsylvania badges press, guest, scout, a commemorative medal, and a souvenir program of poems by the attending veteran scout, Jack Crawford. The Pennsylvania Railroad Company also added a telephone line between Gettysburg and Hanover along the Western Maryland Railway, over which the Pensy would operate a large number of trains during the battle anniversary. On the Chambersburg-Gettysburg Turnpike and the Gettysburg-Petersburg Turnpike, tolls ended in time for the reunion when on June 27, the Pennsylvania Supreme Court upheld the 1911 Sproul Roads Act, by which the Commonwealth acquired private toll roads. By February 1, 1913, water wells were being drilled for the July encampment, and by June 26 hotels in Hanover, Chambersburg, Hagerstown, and the Blue Ridge section were filling rapidly. For entertainment, a Gettysburg facility was started in 1912 to display the Boston version of the Gettysburg Cyclorama, 1 and the now lost The Battle of Gettysburg Black and White film of 1913 was first run at Walters Theatre on June 26. Local planning for the reunion included expanding the Gettysburg Hackman's tax to automobiles, 2 upheld by the Pennsylvania Supreme Court in 1914, a 50-cent maximum for taxi fares in the borough, 3 and an obscure request from a few Missouri veterans regarding the availability near Gettysburg of a few good widows or old maids, good housekeepers and not too young to go west after the reunion the kind-hearted mayor, J.A. Holtzworth, agreed to forward photos to the veterans in the Cupid operations. 
Topic facilities The War Department's Great Camp, Gettysburg Encampment, Anniversary Camp, Veterans Camp provided tents and support facilities for the Civil War veterans and extended from both sides of Long Lane on the north four to within 500 yards of the Bliss House. The Great Camp included the Great Tent Big Tent, 200 by 450 feet with its 13,000 chairs, the Veterans Tents, quarters for 1,466 War Department soldiers including Camp Commander Gen. Liggett and 2,179 mess personnel, 385 Camp Boy Scouts from Washington, and other camp personnel for a total of 57,198 persons quartered and subsisted in the Great Camp. The camp had a temporary U.S. post office, 90 Pennsylvania Health Department latrines throughout the camp with a seating capacity of 3,476, and near the Great Tent, an emergency station and two comfort houses of the Health Department, which also supplied the Great Tent water fountains. The Pennsylvania Commission also set up a temporary morgue in the camp. A special platform on the Round Top Branch was built for veterans to disembark from steam trains directly into the camp in February. Trolleys of the Gettysburg Electric Railway had been prohibited from using the branch after the State Health Department's chief engineer had estimated Gettysburg, population 4500, would be inundated with 100,000 people. The borough agreed to the Commissioner of Health's request for his department to take over medical and sanitation efforts in the area from June 25 to July 25. The department set up a field hospital at the Kurtz property facing Brickyard Lane on the north foot of East Cemetery Hill, as well as six comfort stations in the borough, one at each railroad station, with a total of approximately 100 hoppers. The department also tested borough wells and mitigated contamination sources upstream of the waterworks supply on Marsh Creek. The American Red Cross Society, along with 72 additional Boy Scouts operated 14 7 feet by 7 feet relief stations for first aid and rest on the Battlefield Park roads, and the tuberculosis dispensary in Gettysburg was also used as a relief station. Attached to the Great Camp were a battery of the 3rd United States Field Artillery and several companies of regular infantry. Companies A.D. 14 officers and 285 men of the 15th United States Cavalry arrived on June 26 for guarding the battlefield and camped west of Seminary Ridge on the Hagerstown Road, while a model camp for a Pennsylvania Cavalry squadron was on the College Athletic Field adjoining the Commission's headquarters. A total of 527 people were quartered at both the Lutheran Theological Seminary at Gettysburg and the Pennsylvania College, Gettysburg College in 1921, including the Pennsylvania Gettysburg Commission, four troops of Pennsylvania State Police, and in tents, Governor Tenner's staff. Additional nearby encampments included the Least Newspaper Row with 155 journalists north of the Gettysburg National Cemetery, an encampment of 30 Boy Scouts near Cashtown west of Gettysburg for traveler services on the Chambersburg-Gettysburg Pike, and Philadelphia and Baltimore Salvation Army encamped in Stanisifers Grove at Biglerville, Pennsylvania. 5. Topic events The Great Camp opened for supper on June 29 with Pennsylvania veterans from the state reunion that adjourned on June 28 and other early veterans e.g. two Confederate vets of Culps Hill had arrived on June 26. The 21,000 arrivals on the 29th instead of the 6,000 expected by Capt. McCaskey of the Quartermaster's Corps resulted in initial shortages some veterans left without staying. After the 1912 6 base of the Virginia Monument was dedicated on June 30, official reunion events began on July 1, Veterans Day, and included a speech by John Wanamaker. 7 July 2 Military Day included an address recommending a stronger military we ought to build two battleships for every one laid down by Japan, a reading of the Gettysburg Address, and a Seminary Ridge review of the VA Division by their governor. At night, an impromptu Union raid on the Confederate side of the Great Camp resulted in joint parades and camp fires following the charge. July 3 Civic Governor's Day had 65 unit reunions, the Wells statue dedication, and a Webb picket flag ceremony at the Bloody Angle on the hour of Pickett's charge. In the Great Tent from 4.30 to 6 p.m. was the New York Veteran Celebration, which included a speech by Colonel Andrew Cowan in which he again called for a Gettysburg Peace Memorial. 
The fireworks by the Payne Fireworks Display Company eight at 9 p.m. included gigantic set pieces covering the entire face and crest of Little Round Top. July 4 on National Day, the Pennsylvania State Memorial with eight statues installed in April was dedicated, and President Woodrow Wilson arrived at 11 a.m. in a special train car, traveled through the borough, and entered the Great Tent through two rows of Boy Scouts. Wilson addressed the audience in the big tent about national unity and departed the camp after the national anthem that followed. Attendees similarly returned to their quarters. The subsequent tribute to our heroic dead with a silent, solemn, sacred five minutes at attention by people throughout the Gettysburg area, e.g., at the College Hotel and Seminary Hotel. The tribute began with a bugle salute over the camp while the Gettysburg bells tolled noon in the distance, followed by the remaining minutes of silence punctuated by periodic artillery firing from the distance. From 5 a.m. to 11 p.m., 7,147 automobiles at least one from each state used the National Park roads. Departures included 12,000 veterans on July 2 and about the same number on July 3, and dismantling of the Great Camp began immediately after the July 4 tribute. The hospital closed on July 5, and the last veteran left on July 8. The annual military instructional camp 250 college students 9 used a few tents of the veterans' camp while encamped at the Maidboro Camp Newspaper Row from July 7 to August 15. 10 the quartermaster headquarters on Baltimore Street closed on August 13, and by August 15 the entire Grand Camp had been removed except four great water storage reservoirs. A movie, United at Gettysburg, documented the reunion. Eleven and LT Colonel Louis E. Beitler, Secretary of the Commission, completed the compilation of the organization's reports on the December 31, 1913, to commemorate the 1913 Gettysburg reunion. A colonial portico was opened in May 1914 at the seminary's old dorm. Twelve, only the concrete base remains. Thirteen, and the 1938 Eternal Light Peace Memorial was erected on Oak Ridge, north of Gettysburg. Topic. See also Commemoration of the American Civil War Hashtag reenactments Historical reenactment